Um, I was uh, in Rwanda during uh, genocide. I was uh, there very young, and uh, 1998, uh, I was traveling go to see my aunt, who her husband was killed, and uh, because uh, of the war, what was uh, people who done in genocide? As when they still kill the people, so they stop the bus. They tell me everyone to get out of the bus, and uh, they tie our arms behind. So um, they took us to the bunch where they live, and um, they ask me. They tell me to kill all our people I was riding with with in a bus, and I said no kill me first. Um, they didn't, they just beat me, slapped me all around the face, and they, they killed all the people. They said, you, we are going to give you a message to send to people. That message, I was thinking they're going to write on a paper, but it was to cut off my hand. They took me to the place they call uh, 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 slaughter place, where they used to cut off head and the arms and leg of our people. And they, they cut the rope, was tying me behind, and I lie down. So they cut one by one my hand. So they left me there, and um, I can't move. I can't wake up by, by miracle. I try many times to get out, up, and um, I walk into the jungle again to see if I can find someone who can help me. I didn't find them because it was a long trip to get some people who can help. And finally, I met two ladies. They took me to their house. And in the morning, next morning, um, they, they call army. They tell them they have me there to the house and uh, they, the soldier armies took me to the hospital. At the hospital, I spent there uh, one year. And after one year, uh, I went to the orphanage. There, an orphanage, there where I studied to learn new things in life. Uh, yeah, the idea of founding the Umwe Community Center came uh, in uh, 2005. We were staying at uh, an orphanage, I and uh, Frederick. So I was working at the orphanage and uh, Frederick was one of the kids at the orphanage, but I also was uh, staying at the orphanage. So not only my student, but uh, Frederick was my friend and we used to talk about many things. Eh? Uh, then uh, we had an idea of what uh, he can do or we can do when he will go outside the orphanage. So then we get an idea of seeing how we can help other people like Frederick because a big number of disabled people were on the street begging. So that's how we get an idea of founding a center where those people can uh, come and learn uh, different skills. The Art comes when I was uh, an orphanage. It was hard for me to live without doing anything because everything was used someone else who can help me, like to feed me, to do everything. So I start to paint just butterflies because it was my way to learn how I can be able to hold something with both hands. So I hold the blush and pencil, I see it makes color, it was good. So 
I see that is something also can help me to teach other people and people who have hands, maybe who don't have a, that uh, skills of painting, they can learn more from me. So I start step by step now. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I like it. One of the things that impresses me about Frederick is that he really likes to paint. Um, you know, you, he, you give him, the, as soon as he's got brushes and a canvas in front of him, he's painting. And he doesn't stop until he has to. And I think we, that, that's how I am. We painted together twice. We, um, we painted together the first time he visited in 2007. And then Frederick uh, joined one of my classes on, on campus at UCSB and painted with us. It was a landscape painting class, and, and Frederick painted along with the, with, with the class. Do you know, when I start to th feel sorry for myself, um, I, I think of Frederick, and I think of, you know, how, how he's been able to forgive and move on um, from, from what happened to him, and, and he's able to, to enjoy painting. He's not, he, do, he doesn't let anything stop him. Up there to Jonas' house, they say that we have a friend who is famous. He can show you some technique how to paint. So they arranged to meet him. It was very wonderful. It's amazing. And uh, we met and uh, we talk and tell him I show. I remember he. I show him what I do. I was have a little paint very small and uh, yeah we do some and he show me some uh, like a line how to cut sky and land so we have a great time together during that time so a couple of people called me up and uh, and asked um, if we could uh, uh, get together and um, to make some paintings for, for for this little fundraiser so and I was I was delighted to, to do it, and I was, I was happy that I had the, the day free today so we could do it. It was a great day. First of all, yeah, the Inzu Yabana preschool is one of uh, our projects where we want to help uh, young uh, disabled kids because before, before we, we constructed this preschool, there is no preschool that uh, could take a uh, disabled kid. So whenever we get a chance to construct this preschool, those kids will have a chance uh, to have a basic education as uh, all other kids. So the idea, okay, it was our dream to also to help young kids. Then we get a chance to be connected with uh, uh, the Santa Barbara community. Uh, and then we have explained our project and our dream. And then they, they have been interested on, on what we are doing. And then they decided to help us and to support us uh, make our dream come true. Is the the step we want to also to build that we can give a big dream and hope to young children in our village. Yeah. So that case we are hoping if we get uh, funds we can uh, build quick and next year we can have a, a school built and the people can start to bring their children. The hope. Uh, a future for the Obama Community Center. My hope is to uh, to make it wide, uh, like uh, to extend it, and have uh, to help many people who need us, who need help, and uh, we wish uh, we can build many centers all around the country. So when we get wide also strong we can also go out of uh, the rwanda to help other people who need hope who need uh, our help that's my hope